Okay, welcome back to Perdido Key Gaming. Collector booster from March of the Machines. This could be a these really tough ones here. Right. <laughs> Speaking of armor. All right, real fast. Got your foil commons and uncommons on top. Full art land, Ozolith, very nice. Zimon and Diana, Dina, Blight Titan, Renata called to the hunt, Inga Runais, Kroxa and Kunoris, very pretty, and Grimgen Corpse Bound, Born, very nice. Phyrexian Incubator, of course. That's all that's in this pack. Definitely see if I came in under one minute on that one. That was kind of tough. But that's definitely the standard for the marching machine collector boosters are pain to get into. Maybe I should like split it up beforehand. Anyway, incubator, Phyrexian, Thrashing Frontliner, Phyrexian via Shino 2-2 two, two for two, trampling whenever it uh, attacks a battle, it gets plus one, plus one. Rugged Highlands for your life gaining duel land there. Negate, of course, for a little counter spell. Golden Scale Aeronaut, Dwarf Pilot, back up one and flying, two, three for five. Tarkir Dune Shaper, Dog Warrior. Uh, pay one or uh, later on transform it for five and uh, turns it into Burnished Dune Stomper. Sand Stalker Moloch is a three. Flash, in, flash it in, four, two. Um, if an opponent casts a blue or black spell this turn, look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a permanent card, put it in your hand. That's kind of handy. And of course, these battles, this is not one of the big ones, but Invasion of Mercadia. Drop it for two, hit it for four, and it will transform into Kirin Flamerite Goblin Spell Shaper. And of course, we got the usual suspects. You got your etched foil Inga um, multiverse card and uh, Renata called to the hunt. Pretty nice, but not worth all that much. Power is equal to devotion to green. Each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So it might make a good commander. Grim Grin, another multiverse showcasey foily five five for five. And I can't even read the text. Enters the battlefield tap and doesn't untap during your untap step. So you got to sacrifice a creature, put a plus one plus one counter on Grim Grin and uh, untap it. So it's kind of hard to get going, huh? Yeah, and Croxa here. This is a very Theracy God, right? Legendary creature, elder, giant, dog, vigilance, menace, lifelink, 6-6, six, six, for 6. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, you can exile 5 cards from your graveyard. When you do, return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Blight Titan for a little commander action. Phyrexian Giant with Death Touch. Uh, when it attacks or enters the battlefield, mill 2 cards and incubate. X, which is X, was the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Yikes. Yeah, and another showcasey Zimon Dina, human dryad, three, four for three. And when you draw your second card each turn, target opponent uh, loses two life. You can sacrifice a creature, draw a card, so that will deal deal the damage, and you gain two life. Um, but you got to tap tap it. Um, Ozolith, well, there you go. Legendary Artifact. You know how that works. Pretty nice. Anyway, that's all I have for today. We'll see you tomorrow.